it's me, Xcanadensis, and today I have a P.O. Box opening video for you. Um, today I got four things in my P.O. Box. I got two envelopes and two packages, but the two packages are from the same person, and then I have these two envelopes. One has Monster High stickers all over it, and one has, um, is the address label possibly a pop star? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna open this one first. It's super teeny tiny and cute, um, and I really like the the little mixture you have going here. I always hate opening, like, I always feel bad, not hate, sorry. I always, I always feel bad when there's stickers like that because then I have to ruin them to open the envelope. Um, so yeah, let's see. Oh, how cute is that? It says your letter in really, really good handwriting. I'm so ashamed and embarrassed of my handwriting. So I love seeing people that ha like have actually good handwriting. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. Um, Sorry, I'm scared to rip the paper. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. Okay. Hi, Brooke. I recently discovered your channel and I've been obsessed ever since. I, oh, there's a cute little smiley. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. When I was a kid, I used to love Monster High. I collected the dolls and I had so much fun with them. But as a boy and as I got older, I thought I needed to give them away because I was too old and I was at the weird age because, or sorry. And I was weird because I am a boy. Now, watching your videos, you've taught, you've taught me it is okay to like what I like and I shouldn't care what other people think of me. Now I've decided to start collecting dolls again, so thank you. But also, WTF, I'm gonna be broke. That's why I always, when people say, like, thank you, I always say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's why I say that. <laughs> yeah, but like, Oh, but also sorry. <laughs> um, I don't have any dolls yet, but I can't wait to go to thrift stores and try to find some. I also wanted to say thank you for making me feel better when I'm down. Anyways, I know you said you wanted cat pictures. So here's a picture of my dog. I say cat, but really any creature. <laughs> and you got the memo on that. Um, also some stickers because I had nothing else to send you. You don't need to actually send me anything. It's so sweet. Um, and it says, I love you, queen, sincerely. Um, I'm not gonna say your actual name, but, um, I'll say your Instagram handle. It's lovesickboy underscore underscore. Thank you so much. And there's really cute stickers all over this. Like, there's a little Rowlet and a butterfly. Oh, oh, and it's a pug! Oh. It's a Polaroid of a pug. I didn't- this is like a pink Polaroid thing. This is so cool. I didn't know they made, like, special colored ones. He's so cute! Oh my, oh, it, it doesn't say LOL, it says Lola. She is so cute. Oh my God. Thank you. And then there's some stickers in here and they're Hello Kitty stickers, which means I can display them with my Hello Kitty stuff. So I have Hello Kitty in a hot air balloon and Hello Kitty as a scientist. I like this one. Um, oh, oh, this one's interesting. She's got a wig on this one. That's really cool actually. And then, is that blood? She, <laughs> she kind of like beat me up. Okay, and then this one where she is a 50s teenager. Okay, so cute. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna call you Jay. I think I think you comment with your name, but I still just don't wanna accidentally invade your privacy or anything. Um, thank you so much for the letter and oh, I really love Lola. Pugs are so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Um, I'm really sorry. I kind of had the same thing because I guess my my dad and my brother had a big influence on me So when I I mean, I'm I'm like the typical doll audience. So um, I can't relate exactly but I was very like I wanted to be seen as cool to my brother and my dad and stuff so I kind of Like forced myself to not like early things But for some reason I decided that like my little pony was acceptable, but dolls were not um, And littlest pet shop my brother also liked playing with with me. So those were totally fine um, so I kind of transitioned to only Littles Pet Shops, and then I got rid of, like, a lot of my toys and stuff. I'm glad to have the stuff that I have, but I did that, too. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get to this one. So this one, um, has Monster High stickers all over it, and some of them are peeling off, so I have a feeling there might have been more. And I love, you used a bunch of five cent stamps, but then they were like, no, that's not enough postage. <laughs> so you had to pay the extra 25 cents. <laughs> I feel that, though. I've done that. Um, when I sent out my leggy pictures, I had to do that to two of them. Which, by the way, the first round of Leggy's pictures finally went out, um, and the second round is going out, um, tomorrow on Saturday, so, um, everybody who sent, well, these ones, maybe I can send out these ones, Leggy pictures today, I'm almost out, I need to go get more. 
Um, so there's going to be a series two of leggy pictures that this package and on will be eligible for. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see what I got in this one. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of Pokemon cards in here. Oh, and another pup. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have to read the letter first so we can get context for the pup. Okay, this one's printed. Oh, and there's a super groovy... Oh, you're Plastic Hearts. I know who you are. There's a super groovy Spongebob sticker, which I love, and then the Schoolia. Anyway, um, hey, Brooke, I love your videos. Even though I have been a viewer for a short amount of time, I don't usually write letters, but once I saw your P.O. Box video, I knew I had to. I wanted to say thank you for your videos. I have loved all since I was little, but once I became 10, I thought I was too old to collect them. I got back into Monster High in July. Thankfully, kept my old ones in storage. Yes! Lucky. <laughs> That's awesome. First saw you in Tech Talk in September with your Monster High collection. Ooh, my TikTok. <laughs> it's dill sack, by the way. Um, anyway. Um, in October, which really inspired me to put up my full collection and fix them up. Honestly, that video did look good, though. Like, they looked really good on the shelf. <laughs> um, after watching that video, I went through your channel and binged everything. All of your videos feel so comfortable to watch and feels like FaceTime with a friend. I'm so glad most of you that have written letters have, like, mentioned that, because that's... Everyone's always like, your quality sucks. But, like, that's the point. Anyway. Um, I love to watch them after work, and they are really good pick-me-ups. I love to make them before work, so I don't feel like dying at work. Um, I especially love the video where you talk about your doll collection to other people. After realizing, after watching, I realized that other people shouldn't have a say in what I enjoy. Um, I was bullied by many people for loving dolls when I was younger. I'm sorry. And some people still don't understand it. I've been able to share and post my dolls without feeling scared because I am able to see how confident you are with them. Y'all are gonna make me cry. This is something I never thought I would be able to do. All I wanted during this year's holiday season was Monster High dolls, but I was scared to ask for any. I am now able to go into the doll aisle and not be scared or embarrassed. Yeah, that was a hurdle I had to get over, even though when Monster High was on the shelves, I was like 12, 13, 14, 15. Like, it wasn't that weird for me to be in the toy section, but for some reason I felt like it was so, so strange. <laughs> Your videos have helped me get back into the hobby that I have always loved. You will never understand how grateful I am. Um... I have also branched out into other dolls after watching your reviews. Before coming, b before becoming a viewer, I was stricter with only wanting to collect dolls from childhood, and it really limited my collection. I fell in love with Rainbow High, and the first, and the first doll I bought new in store since 2015 was Stella Monroe. Yes, Stella's the best one. Anyway, I was, and I also got into LOL OMG dolls, and I already own like 17. My favorite line is Remix. What is yours? My favorite entire line. Remix is easy to say because there's so many of them. Um, I really like the new Winter Chill, which is saying something because I only have, like, what, two of them? Or, sorry, no, I only have one of them. But I also really like Winter Disco. I think I just really like winter-themed dolls. <laughs> um, and then, like, uh, Lights. Lights is probably the one that consistently is the best. And I still don't have Dazzle, though. Um, anyway, I'm also dying to get my hands on some brats. I have been... Oh, gonna be easy pretty soon to get some brats. I've been obsessing over the brand since October, but it's hard to find them where I live for some reason, so I can't wait to be able to get them in stores. I don't think you're a dog person, but I wanted to include a picture of my dog, Chip. I also sent you a couple Pokemon cards since I know you collect the plushies, but wasn't sure about the cards. I actually sold my entire Pokemon card collection. Well, not all of them, most, the vast majority of them, but um, I still love them, so I was kind of sad that I didn't have as many anymore, so I always really appreciate getting them. Um, <laughs> uh, again, thank you so much for your videos and the community you have helped create. I'm so grateful for you and what you create from Max and their doll clap. Their doll account is plastic underscore hearts ZZ. Thank you so much. All right. I want to look at Chip. Chip is super cute. So you were right that I'm a cat person, if that wasn't obvious, but that doesn't mean that dogs are a problem. I think they're really cute. Oh, <laughs> I just don't think I'm like... I think dogs are very high energy, so I don't think I could, like, keep one. All right. See who we got. We got Snubble, a dog. <laughs> um, Bregson. These are from Breakpoint, right? Is that that set? Um, here's Dot from... Oh, my gosh. That's one from when I was a kid. That's Hidden Legends. Are you impressed? Um, I don't know what this one is. Plasma something, maybe. Girder. Kangaskhan from Breakpoint. Or Breakthrough. I don't... Breakpoint and Breakthrough are pretty similar. This one's from um, Dragon Frontiers. Charmander. And a Deerling, also from Breakpoint. This is Crystal Guardians, which is my favorite set. This is one of the only sets I kept from my childhood collection. Um, and then, oh, I don't remember this set name. I don't remember that symbol, but I know it's from the Sun and Moon era. Or at least I think it is. Maybe it's X and Y. It might be, no, it's not Sun and Moon. It's late X and Y. Um, Gothita from Breakpoint. This one is um, the Diamond and Pearl base set, right? That was the last pre-release I ever went to when I was a kid. Um, and then Bent Spoon. <laughs> 
Uh, Provo Pass is awesome. <laughs> and then Gothita is super cute too. Ah, thank you! Gonna beef up my little, I still have a Pokemon card binder for the cards that I kept, so you're beefing that up for me. <laughs> thank you so much. And then I have two of these um, priority uh, medium boxes. Um, they're from the same person. I'm not gonna say your name, although this is the name that you comment with. I just, I'm not gonna say it until I see it in the letter. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I think you commented and told me to go check my P.O. box and that's why I went today. Cause I don't go as often anymore cause it's kind of far. I can't get it to open. I hope there wasn't a particular one I was supposed to open first. Like maybe a certain one has the letter in it and that'll be kind of awkward. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna get everything out, see if I can find the letter. Um, oh my gosh, I'm spoiling everything, I feel bad. Okay, I think I actually did find the letter, okay. That was just pure luck, because I don't think it's, if it says it on the box, I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so here's the letter, it's in this really interesting wolf envelope. Alright. And then we have a wolf card. And it says, okay, Brooke, I'm sending some friends. <laughs> I love that they're looking for new homes. I found them homeless at Goodwill. Oh, they were being sold by the pound. I got it. Okay, sorry. I was thinking maybe you were like referring to the British pounds and I was like, huh? Got it. Um, <laughs> uh, I hope among your collection, you give them a new forever home. I am a new subscriber and viewer of your YouTube channel. I am a collector myself of DC, Marvel, Harry Potter, Frozen, and Star Wars. These are my major collection I have in my collection. If you ever come across DC Harley Quinn teen doll, I would pay you for her. I did see that you, I did see that you comment about her and I'll keep my eye out. I am missing her from my collection. Peace and light from, I'm just gonna say your first name, um, from Arnold. So this is a bootleg, oh my God, this is pretty. Oh, it's a Lenard pony, yeah. They're, they've been doing like bootleg ponies since like the original My Little Ponies. They are ever present. I have never seen this one before and it's beautiful. Look at her. I really like her. Y'all are beefing up my fakey collection. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then here's this, um, it's definitely a Barbie McDonald's toy, but I'm not sure from what movie, 2019? Maybe she's not from a movie. Very interesting one, I need to fix her hair. And then we have um, these LOL pods. This one's empty, this one has the little, um, these are very interesting, because I don't know much about the babies, but this one's like the, that little weird outfit they come in to like hide which doll you got. And then this I've seen before. Did they come in the, like cute Tito's or something? It's by Moose Toys. This is adorable. I want to display this with Snowlicious. Really cute. Um, and then another fakie pony. This one has inset eyes. And it just says 31481, which is probably just the mold date, but I have no idea the age of the pony. It's definitely a new newer one based on the material and color. Um, but it doesn't have any branding. Never seen this one before. The inset eyes are actually really interesting and cute. I like the eyelashes. Um, and then, oh, a little little Barbie fairy. This is probably from Fairy Secret, if I just had to guess, but I don't really know. Um, I don't keep track of the McDonald's toys too, too well. Um, and then we have a little, oh my gosh, is this a baby um, Wonderbolts? Rainbow Dash, very interesting. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Oh, and this is the Equestria Girls bonus Twilight. I don't actually think I have this one. I have this, maybe I do? I don't recall. This, these are super pretty though. I really love these because they, they're like molded. And then this Rainbow Dash from, she's not an original original by the eye paint. So she's probably like a few years in before they changed. I've never seen this particular one before. I know you're probably saying like Brooke, that looks exactly like the others, but her eyes are printed differently. You just have to take my word for it. <laughs> All right. And then there's a few dolls in tissue paper, so. Let's see who we got. This is a very interesting Barbie. Okay, her face is really unique. I don't know who this one is. Her dress is really pretty and I like the little, oh my gosh. I know this isn't her outfit, but this is actually like a really cute combo. She's got like almost a 90 on uh, over her outfit, but then this like really pretty dress. I'm assuming this is a fashion pack, but it's really cute. Um, and then her face is, Unique, like I don't know if it's just the screening or maybe the face mold, but it's very different and I really like her. She honestly could be Merlia just based on the, the blonde and pink in her hair. Um, hmm, she's really interesting. Thank you for her. 
It makes me so sad. It, well, like, not, like, sad as in sad for her, but sad for modern Barbie when I see the paint quality on these because it's so much better on, like, every other Barbie ever um, than the recent ones. And then this is a Boxy Girls doll, which I have never held in my hands before. Oh, and she even has her shoes. These were, um, I thought these were super cute, but they just didn't, like, on the shelf, they just didn't appeal to me enough that I wanted to bring them home, but I really loved their, like, unboxing gimmick. I thought that was adorable. Um, and I think the arm articulation is very strange, but this is a really interesting doll day that I now get to add to my collection. This one's beautiful. I really like her hair color. Um, and it's actually reasonably soft, too. And her face paint is really... It looks good. She's cute. These are such, like, unique dolls, aren't they? I think they're so fun. And she seems like she's probably into, like, working out just based on the outfit. It kind of looks like a LuLaRoe thing. Um, evil company, by the way. LuLaRoe is. And then... Here are her shoes. These are really cute. What company makes these? Like, I actually don't know. Maybe it's on her back. Jay at Play. Okay, that's like a newer company. She's cute. Are they making dolls anymore? I wonder. All right, and then the last one in this box is... Okay, so you... <laughs> I never said this, but... Um, Barbie and the Secret Door is one of my favorite Barbie movies now, and I really wanted a Malusia doll or Malusia. I've been pronouncing it Malusia since she came out, but it's Malusia since I watched the movie recently. Oh my god, and you sent me Malusia! Thank you! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh. She's just missing her crown and her scepter, which is totally fine. Those aren't things that are super important to me. Her hair is really nice. I think it's Kanekalon. This specific purple Kanekalon is pretty common. Like, I keep getting it. Like, there's a Livwig that has it that I have, and there's, like, a bunch of stuff. She's really, really cute. So these were really... This doll was, like, really infamous when she came out among the Monster High community, cause she, or the Monster and Ever After High community, because she just has, like, an Ever After High screening. And everyone was like, why? So that's why I knew her name, but I hadn't watched the movie. And I watched the movie recently, and it was so good. I really liked it. Ah, oh, thank you. Wow. Well, this will expedite my journey to collect the Secret Door dolls. Um, the thing about most of the Secret Door dolls other than this one is that they almost look knockoff. Like, especially the, um, I forgot her name off the top of my head, but the fairy girl, she, she just doesn't look like a legitimate Barbie doll. I think it's very weird. Um, all right. And then, oh, sorry. Here is the second box. I can't believe you sent two. Thank you. Um, and let's see what's inside. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, by the way. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh. All right, so here is the second box. Um, I guess I'll start pulling stuff out because there's probably not a note in this one. Oh, hello. I've never had one of these before. Oh, <gasps> sorry, Belle, but this is Sophia. Never said this either, but I love Sophia the First so much. I started watching when I was in middle school and I, I just love it. And this is my first Sophia. I don't have any Sophia merch. I really wanted some when, it came, when, they, when the show came out, but I never got any. <gasps> and you got me my first Sophia ever. There was like this one playset that I really wanted that had like, it had all of them because I love Amber. And I really want like, um, like I loved them. I just love them. Sorry, I, I don't want to go on too much of a tangent there, but like um, I just couldn't justify it at the time because the only way to get Amber at the time was like if you bought the castle set. Um, oh my God. She's so cute! I love Sophia. She's got the Amulet of Avalor as well. And then here is Belle, who's really cool. I actually don't have any of these little plushies. I've I've always been like casually interested in them, but I just never really see them thrifting for prices that I'll pay. Um, and she's really cute. I've been very tempted a lot of times by the Tiana ones though, because it's Tiana. <laughs> Thank you so much. They're so pretty and I can't wait to put them on display. The bottom shelves, I can't put dolls on because the cat, my cats don't mess with my toys, but they will brush up against them and knock them over. And that kind of bothers me to have to put them up constantly. So on the bottom shelves, I only put plushies. Um, and there's just an entire bare bottom shelf right here. I know you can't see it, but like underneath the Mycenes. So I wanted to put, because on the other side is actually a Disney princess display, like behind all the Mycenes. This is a double-sided thing. Um, so I wanted to put more Disney plushies here, but I can't find my other ones. I have a few more. Anyway, that's just a tangent. So they will be, they will be finding a great home already. I know exactly where I'm gonna put them. All right, um, next up is, 
this doll. Interesting. She's um, she's definitely a newer Barbie. She's got that um, pixelated screening, I think. It looks pretty good, though, and she has a little bun. And um, she has a fully articulated body, but it's not... Oh, she has flat feet, though. Is this possibly that new, like, yoga one? That's what she's making me think of. She's cute, and I like that she has an articulated body. Is she wearing... Hold on. Is that gingerbread man? Gingerbread woman? Well, there's both. Are they from that game? That phone game where you're like... What was it called? I loved it. When I, when I was, like, actually in elementary school, I feel like, it was when that came out. It's called Oven Break. Right? Is that what her PJs are? Because that's really cute. Does it say on the tag? Oh, there's no tag. Let me know if I'm right. It's just, that's what it's reminding me of, but maybe it's just generic gingerbread people. It just looks so much like it. But no, the one in that game was kind of angry. This is a really cute little PJ set though. Oh, I really like her. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then this doll. What is this? I actually don't. Oh, and she's a fairy. Oh, is this that, um, bright fairy friends maybe they they're kind of recent huh these came out like this year um and she's really pretty she's got her little i like her yellow hair and her orange outfit and she has really cute little wings which i assume lit up because there's a little button here they're called bright fairy friends right i just haven't picked them up cute her face is so unique like she doesn't look like a lot of other dolls very like um you know like pixie art that's not by like fashion artists or like doll artists or cartoon artists ten tends to look like this so that must be what she's based on like the the very pointy features and the round cheeks and the ears or she doesn't have fairy ears never mind but yeah she remind she's very very like traditional pixie looking she's really cute thank you you've shown me like a lot of dolls that i've never tried before that now i get to like add to my collection i really appreciate it oh and here's some lols so these are the lols that must have come in some of those other pods maybe and this one. Oh, are they related or are they just from the same series look this one i love the ombre glitter hair it's so cute there's one with um a little bow hairstyle with uh blue and pink and then this one is purple and blue like a teal and purple these are really cute they're missing their clothes but that's fine they're very interesting Super cute. I never find these at thrift stores. I feel like because they're so popular. Ooh, ow. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up picking up the box. Okay. And then, oh, Olaf. He's made it to the collection. Now we have an Olaf plushie, so he can go right on that bottom shelf, too. Um, and then, let me get all the rest of the stuff out just so I don't have to keep bending over. Oh, my God. <laughs> How cool. Sorry. <laughs> Quasimodo is in here. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Um, here is a, it's a little keychain. <laughs> uh, here is, what is he from? It's definitely a McDonald's toy, but from what? I am not sure. I'm gonna feel stupid when one of y'all tell me who it is and it's obvious. He's like a little armadillo friend, but I don't really know what he's from. Maybe he's from like, mm. He looks like he's supposed to be a specific prehistoric animal that I'm blanking on from the Ice Age. Maybe he's like a Crude's character. I don't know. I've never seen that movie. Um, and this is incredible. <laughs> it's Quasimodo. I saw him once at a thrift store like five years ago and didn't get him. And then I never saw him again. And I, I was bummed about it. And now I have him. He's so cute. I wonder how many. I'll get him like a Kaiser stand. I think this type of doll is the one true use for a Kaiser stand. Thank you! How cool is that? Because I have the Esmeralda from the same set. He's so cute. He's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I wonder how you're supposed to stand him up. All right. Next is this little... Oh, oh Anna's um, travel outfit from the Hasbro dolls. Cool. Another Frozen outfit. I love Frozen dolls. Wait. <laughs> All right. And then here we have... I think these must be Barbie's sisters. So this is Chelsea in a very interesting little outfit. I've, I was so into the Kelly dolls as a kid. Like they were my favorite thing, but I, I've never had any of the Chelsea's before. So there she is. I like her new um, face mold. She's really cute. Like the Kelly's, they, um, they're really cute too, but 
I don't know, I like the, the art style on these better, I think. For Barbie, for the most part, I prefer the older ones, but for the for like Chelsea and mm, just Chelsea, I prefer the new ones. Um, and then this, I think, is Skipper, but I can't tell, and I think this is like a, probably a horseback riding one, but I don't know, because she's got like, she's got like colored hair. Maybe she's from like Starlight Adventure, I don't know. She's she's dirty, she needs a cleaning. We'll, we'll clean her up and get her um, where she needs to be. She honestly looks to me like she might be a villain, because she's got the, she's kind of got the villain eyebrows going on, and like, she has kind of like snake eyes. Do you see that? Like her pupils are slits. She's very interesting. Oh, I love this. This little anklet's really cute. This is an interesting little doll. I'll have to figure out who she is. Let me know if you know, because I might not Google it immediately. You might you might beat me to it. All right, and then in here, oh, hello. These are two Hasbro Disney princesses. So I don't have any of the Hasbro just normal princess line. I only have the, um, Style series, I have two style series dolls so far. I can't find Tiana anywhere. <laughs> anyway, um, Moana's screening is so cute. Okay, so here is Moana. She's super cute. I do really, really appreciate that Hasbro gave her a different body mold. The screening is really nicely done too. She's really pretty, Oh. Thank you. The one thing I'm gonna say though is that I find it very strange that they just took a picture of a grass skirt and printed it on her skirt. When everything else is cartoony, that's such a strange choice. You see what I mean? It's glittered. It's very cute. Um, I can't wait to fix her hair. She. This seems like a fun one. I'll boil it and then like get to curl it again. And then here is Jasmine. I think um, a lot of the Hasbro princesses look a little funky, but like Jasmine made out really well. I think she looks very pretty. And here she is. Let me move her earrings. Yeah, she's really, really pretty, actually. I never looked too closely at them, but doesn't she look, like, super sweet? Um, oh, and she actually has full mobility of her arms. For some reason, Moana didn't get that. She just has the, um, kind of a swing motion. Yeah, Jasmine's really, really pretty. I like the, um, reimagining of her outfit. I think it's actually kind of, it actually looks decent. Um... Some of the ones I've seen are a little rough. Although, I don't like the implication that showing your stomach is somehow, like, inappropriate. That is kind of being pushed lately. Like, I don't know. I think that's a little bit concerning. Um, and then she has this cute little headband. I'll have to see if I have shoes that will fit for her. Um, it looks like she can probably wear Monster High shoes, which is great. Very interesting that all doll lines are kind of transitioning there. Because, like, most, like, earlier doll lines have, like, really tiny little feet. Um, and now they've... Now dolls generally have, like, bigger feet. Although Barbie obviously still has to stay because they like to have her clothes be compatible across generations. Um, so yeah, there's Miss Jasmine. All right, so, um, thank you so, so much to Arnold. I hope it's okay to say your name. You do comment a lot, so I assume, or I think it'll be okay. Um, and I, I want to thank you personally. I don't just want to be like, thanks, you, you know. <laughs> um, thank you so much. This is such a fun little package, and I really appreciate that you thought of me um, on your little thrift store trip. That was really nice of you, and I'll have to keep an eye out for um, for Harley Quinn for you. Um, thank you so much. These are so fun, and I can't wait to, like, clean them all up and get them all on display. Um, I just can't believe you got me Malusha! I'm so excited about her. Oh my gosh. Not to overshadow everybody else, but like, these are so stinking cute. I'm gonna be so pressed if this is not from that phone game. It probably can't be, huh? Cause that phone game is not even around anymore, I don't think. It really looks like it is though. So that's what I'm gonna see it as forever. Um, and thank you so much for thinking of me, all of you for sending me your sweet letters and um, and the pictures of your dogs. I, mm. It's so funny that you both sent pictures of dogs this time. What are the odds? Y'all are the only ones that have done it so far, I think. No, I think I got a dog picture in, like, one of the earlier videos. I haven't put up my pet wall yet. Because I want to get a big corkboard for it, but Walmart doesn't sell one that's going to be big enough. So it's a whole thing. And my basement is not ready for me to just put things on the wall yet. It's really a work in progress. <laughs> um... Alrighty. <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, thank you so much. I never know how to say it and I feel like I won't say enough at all. I, I just want to fully like express how grateful I am. It's really, really sweet that you thought of me um, enough to send me letters or write me a letter or send me a package. It's really, really kind. And 
really do appreciate it. Um, th and thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I, you don't have to send me things for me to um, appreciate you. I really do appreciate just viewing or commenting or liking or subscribing or whatever, like, whatever you do. It really does mean a lot and it helps me out so much. And um, back in 2011, when I started my channel, I never even saw myself getting, like, comments, you know? So it's really crazy to be at this point and um, I don't fully know how to express my gratitude to you. Um, and I feel like by my birthday in at the end of July, I'm gonna hit 15k, which is nuts. I mean, at my current progression, I'm gonna hit it before that. Um, and that's so... I don't know. <laughs> I just never saw myself getting here, and I really, really do appreciate it so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching, for real this time, because otherwise I'll just sit here and ramble. <laughs> so for real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>